Here's my trepidation. All I've been hearing about was this kid Willis. That's all I was hearing about. If you're going to get anybody, it's that brother that you need to get the arm strength, the mobility, et cetera, et cetera. That's what people were saying about him. I sincerely hope, Key and Dan, I yeah. hope that this wasn't one of those picks where, oh, my God, you know, Dan Marino once played locally and we let him get out of Pittsburgh, so we have to make sure that we don't let this kid who stars at Pitt get out of Pittsburgh. No one was thinking he's about homegrown. Dan Marino. He's homegrown. He's one of ours. Don't let him leave. I'm hoping that it wasn't an emotional decision, yeah. one based on nostalgia, that we actually got a kid that is going to put an end to Mason Rudolph, okay, and cats like that, that's going to stay, that, that, that's going to make a difference, that's going to be able to walk in from week one and guess what? Dare I say, beat out Mitchell Trubisky. I hope that's something, that this is that kind of kid that they weren't picking somebody just because he's homegrown. Well, I'll tell you this. From day one, it should be an open competition between him and Mitchell Trubisky. Absolutely. Sure. I think the Steelers are better today. The mistake is, I don't think that Kenny Pickett is a guy that can go face-to-face -face with Lamar Jackson or face-to-face -face with Joe Burrow or face-to-face -face with Deshaun Watson. I do not believe he has that high-end talent. And that's why I sit there, and I was one of those people that said Steelers at 20. Malik Willis is the only guy in this draft that at that spot, you feel talent-wise, can at least throw punch for punch with those guys. Candidly, Stephen A., I'll tell you this. I think Kenny Pickett and Mitchell Trubisky – are pretty much the same player. Oh, I'm, they are. They're, they're, oh, they're, they are guys that are good athletes. They use their legs to help them become better players. They are average at, uh, with their accuracy, and they're mechanically flawed. And that's, that's the reality. They, neither, neither guy has this high-end ability where if he's got good coaches around him and good talent around him, you sit there and go, this dude's this absolute superstar. Pay him whatever he wants. And that's why... I was one of those people that at Pittsburgh at 20, if Malik Willis is there, take him. So it's not a mistake in the aspect that the Steelers are a better football team today than they were yesterday because it'll breed better competition okay. at that spot. But I don't think that the Steelers can sit there and say, within their own division, they've got a quarterback that gives them a chance over the next decade. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.